Let's take a moment to visit with Quincy Garrier, head of the Oranges matchup against Georgetown, which is in the Dome Saturday night at 8 o'clock. And, you know, we could talk about the Pittsburgh game, Q, and we will, but uh, it'd be unfair to you for the, the season that you've had to this point. Uh, four double-doubles going in and really rolling. Uh, let, let's just kind of take a little snapshot before the Pittsburgh game about how things were, were working and, and how upsetting was a, a two-week layoff there to the momentum that you'd built. I mean, it's hard, you know, it's hard for everyone, everyone in the NCAA, everyone has been through that. I think a lot of, a lot of teams have been through that. So, you know, we just, you know, I was at home uh, trying to do some extra work um, to get, uh, to, to stay in shape. And uh, I was happy when I heard that we were able to practice and be ready to go again. We talked in, during the delay, really in terms of the shooters and, oh, you can go work out on the gun. But, but your game isn't, you know, you like to shoot and, and you're doing a better job of it. Are you able to practice what you're good at individually or maybe with just one coach? Um, not really, but I'm, I'm working on my legs. So, you know, if my legs are strong and everything, you know, just got to work on my, uh, on my conditioning. And that's, that's, one of part, that's one of the part of my game that I need to work on, you know, my conditioning, the, the fact that, you know, I'm going to the – offensive glass every time and go back on defense and stuff like that so you know I just got to keep working on that so yes and no but yeah of course that's the difference right you can practice what you're good at you also need to practice what you're not good at right where do you enjoy spending your your time and how do you decide uh when it is just up to you uh what you make your workouts of I mean shooting on the gun it's it's a good thing and you know getting my rhythm for my shot um uh running with coach when i'm working out just with coach red you know just uh running back and forth uh up and down just to you know get in shape and um finish at the basket we're doing some stuff with dribble and stuff like that you know just to get my legs uh strong and stay in shape quincy garrier is our guest uh four double doubles uh into the pittsburgh game he'd had double figures in in every game except for that one and foul trouble really was your, your biggest issue there. Yeah. You picked up your fourth foul 30 seconds into the second half. You know, Coach Beheim doesn't put guys on ice as quickly as other coaches with, with foul trouble, but, uh, but you knew early in the second half you'd have to sit for a while. Uh, what, what are you thinking about that, and, and how do you approach playing with foul trouble? I mean, it didn't really help my rhythm, you know. Um, I had two fouls in the first half, put me on the bench, and I came back, I had a third foul uh, just at the end of the first half. And then, the, like you said, the, 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 the fourth foul at the beginning of the second half, it was really a hard time for me, you know. And I think all my, my fouls was offensive foul. So it was, it was really, uh, you know, it was, not a, it was not a good game for me yesterday. And I think for everyone on the team, you know, it was a, we need to bounce back on Saturday against Georgetown. But, you know, we just got to keep working. And, uh, you know, a bad game can, can happen. It's not, it's not a big deal. I think we, we just got to keep working, like I said, and we'll be fine for the next game. It's interesting when the majority of them is offensive fouls, as you pointed out. Is yeah. there a technique that you're familiar with that maybe you should be staying away from? Uh, there were, first of all, it was an unusual game in that there were, I think, four fouls on passes. Uh, yeah. let alone what, what you tend to do is, is lower your shoulder into somebody. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's some fouls, honestly, that I don't think was a foul, but, you know, that's my opinion. Sure. Um, but I need to be smarter, a little bit a little bit smarter, uh, because I know it was affecting my team yesterday for me to not play. Um, you know, uh, the rebound part, it was hard uh, for everyone to get rebounds and stuff. And for me to not play, it was not helping my team. So, you know, next game, I've got to be smarter with that. How hard is it to sit there during 15 minutes of game action? It, it was, it was, it was different. You know, it's not used to it. Uh, I was cold on the bench, and then I know at some point coach was about to put me back on the game, and uh, I tried my best. But you know, we we still lost the game. But like I said, we we all bounced back uh, on Saturday. You know, it didn't wind up being enough. But was it fun to see Robert Braswell uh, yeah. have a game? I, the, the entire bench seemed to erupt for him when he, he got some shots to go yeah, down. Yeah, I was I was really happy for him. Uh, Rob Rob is really working uh, hard with us in groups and stuff. So I knew he was about to do something, especially when he hits the, his first shot. I knew he was about to hit a couple more after. So everyone was happy for him, and uh, hopefully he'll play like that for the rest of the year. You've been such a good rebounder this year, and rebounding was a sore spot in that Pittsburgh game. 
What have you learned about your approach to rebounding that, that you can share with your teammates here and, and get some improvement? Um, like I said, I just got to be active every time. Uh, just be active, be aggressive, and uh, uh, move my feet faster so you know I can get the rebound uh, and take the position before the other guy to get the rebound. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I, I know I'm really helping my team at the rebound, and I need to keep doing that. So, you know, a game like that yesterday was – was hard because you know I was not on a game uh, in the game and I was in foul trouble. But like I said, we'll bounce back on Saturday. You know, if you didn't already know, the game has swings, right? Buffalo was up 16, they yeah. didn't win, and you're up 18, and you didn't win. That that, that yeah. ought to be in your head the rest of the season, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's a, it's it's a tough loss, but you know we got to live with it and just uh, keep working. And uh, Quincy, before you and I got connected on this interview, you did an, uh, an interview in a French language broadcast interview going back yeah. to Montreal. H how much French do you speak now? How uh, regularly? I feel, I feel like my, I mean, I, I speak French with my family. I still speak French with my family, my friends back home, but um, I feel like I, I lose a little bit of my French. I don't know how, but just some, just some words that I forgot, or, you know, I'm, I'm using English and French at the same time. It's, it's, uh, it's confusing sometimes. How many minutes a week would you say you speak French? Uh, not a lot. Maybe, um, actually, yeah, a lot. Probably I'll say six hours, seven six hours. hours. That's a lot. Yeah. That's quite a bit. Yeah, like when I'm, when I'm playing, uh, when I'm, I'm playing Call of Duty with my friends, uh, we, I speak French. So yeah. Joe Gerard told us that, uh, video games were really one of the ways that you guys stayed in contact with one another the, the last yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing for me. So see if your answers match up. Who's, who are the best video gamers on the team? Uh, I'll put myself second, but I put, uh, Nick, Nick is the first one. Nick is okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. We'll keep that scouting report going. We'll, we'll check in with you on that one later. Uh, last slot here, just the Georgetown game. And, and I don't know, since you, you grew up in, in Canada, how much you've picked up on what it means, Syracuse, Georgetown, uh, you weren't really able to be much of a factor in last year's game against the Hoyas. Uh, what, what do you think of this one on a, a prime time Saturday night? I mean, I know it's a rivalry game, um, so we need we we absolutely need to win this game. It's a must-win game. Uh, I know it means a lot to the program. Uh, you know, Georgetown against Syracuse. So we we got two days of practice. We just got to practice hard, um, do our best, and then get ready for the game on Saturday. Sounds good, Q. Thanks for the time. Good luck. Thank you.